Hey guys, welcome back. Uh, now let's have a look over our new ADC that's analog to digital converter and it is MCP3425. And to gain more knowledge about this sensor, let's visit uh, the website that is controlleverything.com and here we have to search on for this sensor as you can notice on my screen. It's MCP3425 and let's see what we got for this ADC and as we see it's a 16-bit one channel ADC and these are some more features of this ADC as you can notice on my screen and this here is the section from where you can buy or add to cart. I will be interfacing this ADC MCP3425 with an Arduino Nano and Arduino code is required and to get that code let's go to resource tab and here comes the Arduino code sample and you can download the code sample as zip file right from here from this website. And you can also have give your shot on github.com and you can download the code from the repository that is control everything community. Now let's have a look over the hardware connections we need to put up together. Now in the hardware connection setup part, uh, the first thing we require is an Arduino Nano which you are able to see on my screen. Next we require an I2C sheet just like this. Now it's available on the website controleverything.com and the real reason we are using this shield is to make connections with other I2C devices a lot easier. So for that, gently place this Arduino Nano over the I2C shield and make a connection like that. For the power up function, what do we require is a mini USB cable just like this and gently insert it over here, the power jack. Next we require our analog to digital converter that is MCP34. 2, 5 and this here is a connecting cable. Now make the connection among the ADC and the cable and make sure that the brown wire of the cable should be connected to the ground terminal of the analog to digital converter and similarly to the ground of I2C sheet. Now we are done with all the connections for this hardware. Now let's have a look over the code. Alright, in the interfacing part, first of all to get the Arduino code we have to log in to github.com and here we have to search on for the repository that is control everything community and after getting that uh, here it is our analog to digital converter MCP3425 and let's proceed and here it is the Arduino code but before moving to the code explanation let's have a look over the instructions part to fulfill that and uh, let's see what we got here as you notice we have to download and install Arduino software on our local machine and the steps which are provided to install this are on arduino.cc link. Let's open up this link and see what we got here. Uh, as you can see we can download the Arduino software from this site and it runs on Windows, Mac or Linux operating system. It's your choice. After getting the installation done. Uh, we have to download or get pull the code and we have to run the program by double clicking on the code and after that we have to compile and upload the code and the final step is to open up the serial monitor so that we can have our output onto the screen. After getting all these instructions we need to get back to the Arduino code and as you notice it's a .ino extension file and then we have in the code uh, clearly noticed as you uh, see that. Uh, we have included wire.h library and we have defined the address of the sensor that is 0x68. Now in the word setup function we have initialized I2C communication as master along with serial communication with baud rate equal to 9600. Then in the writing section part as you notice we have sent configuration command and we have continuous conversion mode for 12 bit resolution which comprises of 0x10. Then we have a void loop function in which as you notice we are going to select a data register that is 0x00 from where request and reading of 2 bytes from this very own register and after that here comes the conversion of the data into 12 bits. It is according to the guidelines provided in the data sheet for the ADC MCP3425. After the conversion we have the output data to be printed onto the screen. Uh, to the serial monitor and it's the digital value of analog input. So this is how the code looks like. Now let's have a look over how it works. Now for the working part, first of all we need to copy this entire code of the sensor and after that we need to open up the Arduino portal and in this terminal we need to create a new file as this and we have to save it and the name is MCP3425 
and after saving we need to verify and compile the code and it's done and we need to upload the code it's done now we have to check for the value and for that display we need to open up the serial monitor and here we are we have the digital value of analog input it means the ends are connected to the ground state nothing is connected to them right now but instead when i try to connect a double a battery of 1.5 standard volt we have the analog input the digital value of analog input which is coming 1021 and it's coming constant because the standard value charge cell is there so this means we have the working as per we desire the sensor works accordingly to that and now let's have a look over the applications and the features the mcp3425 is a single channel low noise high accuracy analog to digital converter with differential inputs and up to 16 bit off resolution the onboard precision 2.048 volt reference voltage enables an input range of plus minus 2.048 voltage differential the device uses a two wire i2c compatible serial interface and operates from a single 2.7 volt to 5.5 volt power supply the mcp 3425 device can be used for various high accuracy analog to digital data conversion applications like portable instrumentation, base scales and fuel gates, temperature sensing with RTD, thermistor and thermocouple, and bridge sensing for pressure, strain, and force. Well, you can have this sensor and you can purchase it from controleverything.com and you can get the code from resource tab from this site. You can download the code as zip file. Also, you can get the code from github.com and the repository there is control everything community. In the end, I would like to make it clear that if you have any doubt regarding any part of this sensor or video, you can have your queries on control everything.com and you can post your comments on the community page on this website. For articles and blogs, you can have a look over on instructables.com. And to subscribe more video tutorials like this, you can have a look over our YouTube channel. In the end, I hope you enjoyed this video and had a good one yourself. Thanks a lot for watching.